in quitting quitting is a is, is a powerful tool in itself mm -hmm. because um sometimes quitting means that you've discovered that i want to do something else which mm -hmm. will be better quitting means that i'm literally in an environment that isn't conducive for me and my well-being so mm -hmm. i shouldn't be doing this yeah. but quitting can also mean um just just having another field of exploration for yourself mm -hmm. you don't always have to monetize everything that you're good at you don't always have to um be you don't always have to be in a space where um you're only doing things for external validation mm -hmm. how 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 much does external validation impact your um impact your day-to-day -day? and if it does if you're an influencer for instance mm -hmm. How can that change to match a life that you want to live for yourself in a way that still pays your bills? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, quitting, quitting, quitting can mean a lot of things. But then also that there's also quitting in the in the in the um in the typically assumed context of you can do it, but you're quitting because you feel like it's too hard. But it's mm -hmm. not it's not hard enough for you to jump ship. But laziness might come might, might come to play. Fear might come to play. There's so many things that might come to play that might make people quit before they should mm -hmm. um so I, I will definitely say that there are instances of quitting that shouldn't <laughs> mm -hmm. be there but mm -hmm. generally um uh I, I i would definitely say at least once you know that there's a rationale behind your quitting that leads on to something else it definitely isn't a negative um mm -hmm. in my context there's always a learning there's always there's, there's always a stepping stone to something else mm -hmm. within that